Hello. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create uh, a bouquet or bouquet or I don't know how to make a lot of people pronounce it different differently. But I will show you how to create a bouquet brushes and how to make a wallpaper of those brushes. Okay. So let's get to it. First of all, open your Adobe Photoshop, of course, and the like, first thing I'm gonna do will create uh, the brushes. So, just I will just go to File New. I will just choose uh, 1,500 1, for the width and 1,500 for the width for the height and. Uh, 150 resolution and I will press OK like there is like I don't know depends how you prefer but you can use just your brushes basic brushes to make this bouquet I will show you how like you can just go to this key in here and click basic brushes in here and click OK and it will load the circle br brushes in here so first of all we create like one like this the white color a uh, black color and we just like this and that's like we can use this as a bouquet so again we just right click convert to smart objects and double click and we will have it in a new window in here so we go to edit define brush presets and then we'll give it mm, okay first and then press okay now like you can just go to the brushes and we'll find it in here and now we will apply to it uh, like we we'll make it uh, a custom brush so like, so we will open this brush presets in here if you can't find it you just go to window you can find brush in here or you can just press a 5 in your keyboard so we we'll go to the brush tip shape first and we choose a, a really high spacing for like 169 or 68 around that and then we will go to shape dynamic and we go for the size jitter for like 100 and for the minimum the diameter we just go around like 50 percent like so and then we just leave everything else like zero we can choose paint pressures in here if you have a welcome tablet and we go to scattering and we choose 1100 for the scatter we choose fade for like mm, let's choose eight with four counts and for the count jitter in here we just choose 20 percent with the fade in here in one now we go to transfer and you know just for the opacity jitter and the flow jitter we just use around 50 70 percent like so now like we will save this custom we made so just go to this one in here and we we'll click so we we'll create new brush custom and we we'll give it okay brushes one click okay now we have we have our first okay we just we just simple we just use the simple brushes basic brushes in Photoshop so if we paint we see like we have 
the process in here like so can I criticize it but you get what I what I'm going for I will put uh, a free set of this process in my blog you can download this for free now uh, we go and load our background I will put it in description too this blurred background just load it in Photoshop now we'll create a process for this to work it's like a uh, background desktop background paper wallpaper so now now we'll just create brushes with the ellipse tool in here so we just draw holding shift around like this with uh we choose for the we choose like 20 points for the stroke and we fill it with black and we choose we select the, the fill color and we reduce the fill to like 60 percent so now we just convert it to small subject again and double click on it and we save it as a brush we go into edit define brush preset we call this ok one Let's delete this one and we go to the process and we find it in here now we give it like the same custom thing we give the other one so we just make 170 and we go to shape dynamic we give it 100 size editor turn the paint pressure the minimum diameter for like 50 and we go to scattering we give it 1000 with 8 fade with 4 count and 20% count jitter with one fade in here we go to transform and we just make it 70 70 and we make sure that we save it so call ok brushes 2 now we'll make our background so we'll make a new layer make it smaller like so and we just start like we choose a white color and we start like, like so maybe like that all right we make another layer in here we make it even smaller and we just go to the center and start to paint we make another new layer and we make it even smaller we just try to fill it like this now we we'll go to the first one and we just go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we we'll give it like 20 pixels blur and we reduce the opacity for like 60 percent and we we'll go to the next layer and we we'll go to filter blur Gaussian blur we we'll give it like six pixel blur we go to the last one we go to filter blur Gaussian blur we'll give it like 0 0.6 pixel now we just make him in a group by pressing ctrl G and we go give them like vivid light color like so we reduce the opacity a little bit like so 70 percent Like so now we have our background so. so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you and you know try to make this kind of process it's easy to use and it's really really great effects for the background and for your images as well so 
have a nice day don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know